morning and welcome back to my channel um today it is january 18th 2020 and i am excited i am going to disneyland and um i haven't been to disneyland in like i think four years ago and this is actually just like my it'll be my third time in disneyland so i'm really excited i don't really have a chance to go as much as i can um even though i live in southern california and disneyland is like nearby i don't really get a chance as much so i'm really excited that i get to do this today and i get to see new attractions that i haven't seen before and i am particularly excited to see the star wars like attraction and just kind of see what it's all about and what the hype is all about so um come join me and um enjoy the day with me as well all right bye see you later hey you guys so uh, i just finished parking and now i'm taking the tram to the disney park it's a long walk <laughs> be a long day of just walking and just walking <laughs> but it'll be so much fun I'm just really following the crowds <laughs> I'm guessing they know where they're going All boarding groups for Star Wars Rise of the Resistance have been distributed for today. An issued boarding group is required to access the attraction. I am on the tram on the way to the Disneyland Park. Yes, we're free. We're almost, we're almost on our way to the park. I still haven't even gotten my ticket yet. Um, look at all these people. and it's just like a random Saturday and it's actually a really really nice day it's sunny I think it's like 75 degrees out here in California and no actually it's not 75 there's a little bit of cool breeze that I just felt right there I'm guessing 72 degrees right now so this is the prices I don't know if you guys see that. So, as you can see, that one day, one park per day, I remember that being only $100 like three years ago. So, it's crazy how much it went up, but you know what? It is worth it. It is the happiest place on earth, right? I am in here like swimwear, and it is actually a really nice day here in Southern California. And it's actually not as much people on a Saturday. I got my hat on. We are at Main Street in Disneyland. And as you can see, that is the castle. Right, straight ahead. Saying hi to my vlog. <laughs> Don't want to get run over. I know if you guys see this, but it says that they're not assigning new groups for the Rise of the Resistance, so I don't get to even go to the attraction today. I guess I came late and they already gave all the passes and whatnot. And I guess today is like 
the weekend where it's you know the opening weekend for it so <laughs> but I get I don't get to really see the attraction but I get to see the location and the ambiance of it or whatnot so oh well next time oh my gosh this is actually really cool definitely feel like I'm in the land of Star Wars <laughs>
<laughs> so this is the Rise of the Resistance and it just opened this weekend and this is the one that you know um, I came late to get like a boarding pass so probably I'll just do that next time but I want to really you know check that out next time so a family that just got out of the ride of the the Rise of the Resistance um, said it was really really cool um, the mom was not even like a she was not even a Star Wars fan and she said it was really really a good experience and she was saying it's like a ride and an experience at the same time so I guess next time we'll definitely come in earlier they were here at 8 a.m. so fuck me <laughs> all right <laughs> I guess next time look at this you guys <laughs> Here's another view. <laughs> How cool. Okay guys, this is Splash Mountain. I actually haven't done this, but I don't want to do it right now because I will get wet. <laughs> but I'll probably do it in the summer or something. Tid Mansion. I've actually done that when I was young. I think it was like 11. I was 11 my first time here. It's lunch time. Hi. Can I have um, the corn chowder? Oh my god. We can grab one? Disneyland for like 16 years already and so I get to try it today for the first time. So right now I am just waiting to get on the ride. Exhibits 
it was actually Johnny Depp and people were riding the ride just like how I am and Johnny Depp was like actually in one of the exhibits and I mean he wasn't in one of the exhibits now but that would have been really cool but anyways it was still a good experience and I would actually recommend you guys experience it yourself if you haven't alright so on to the next ride we are back to tomorrow. Hey guys, so this is the third ride and I'm excited because I'm actually hitting a lot of rides today. Actually the most that I've ever done. And the next ride is Star Tours and I can't really film over there because I heard it's definitely not a ride that I can film. So I'm going to put this away and I'll see you guys Alright you guys, I just finished my third ride and I did the Star Wars, um, the Star Tours actually, and um, it was a really cool experience, I couldn't really film it as I said before, but um, you had to wear like 3D glasses and it was a light stimulated ride and it was just really really cool, um, you know, it kind of woke up I was getting kind of sleepy before this, you know, before this ride, but now like my senses are like back. It was really cool, and if you guys haven't tried it, as I said, come to Disneyland and try it yourself. the racers um what do you call it the racers ride and so far it is one of my favorites so far it's one of my favorites so if you guys haven't done it definitely it's like um a must if you guys go to california adventure again i'm not in the disneyland park this is the california adventure park so again this is one of my favorite rides so far so you guys definitely have to try it and put it in your must list when you do go to Disneyland or California Adventure. All right, see you guys in the next ride. I don't even know. <laughs> All right. All right, getting some ice cream, you guys. This is so cute. At the cozy cone. You guys, this is definitely one of the most cutest shirts and innovative, so look at this, it says, 
world-class charmer and she is charmed <laughs> how cute all right thank you you guys i am waiting in line to get an ice cream cone soft serve you guys soft serve i am excited i'm so excited my diet starts monday so fuck it ice cream give it to me guys this is my <laughs> my swirl with some graham cracker dust uh, eaten <laughs> soft serve oh my gosh you guys <laughs> I think I have like four more rides to go <laughs> before I have to go and my battery's dying so if this is the last clip I ever do I will just talk about the rest of my experience with you guys later. Aw, so cute to be young and free. <laughs> I think that's like the second character I've spotted this whole day. <laughs> Okay, this is the next ride. So these are all the places that we're gonna go, I guess, on this ride. I just finished um, the ride Sorin, and that is actually my second favorite ride. And it basically was like a simulated ride again, and it just took you to like different parts of the world, like you know, Africa, India, Egypt, the Wall, you know, um, Paris. And then um, also, you know, like China, where you got to see a wall, of, you know, the wall of China, uh, the Great Wall of China. And then it ended with, um, you know, a view of like the. Okay, you guys, this concludes my day at Disneyland. And I will just kind of do like a little commentary later on. But you guys, it's been amazing. Thank you, and hope you guys enjoy this vlog. Alright, good night!